So I've discovered one of the most terrifying glitches in the game and I want to bring awareness to it, try to help you avoid it, and a possible fix that I've found. So let's get into it. This video is going to be a little bit longer than my usual video because I want to go into detail about a couple of things, early signs of this glitch and how to avoid it. If you want to skip to a certain part of the video, check down in the chapter list down below. But without further ado, let's get into it. And it seems that this is an extremely dangerous, extremely crazy glitch to have in the game. Now, now that our ship has completely disappeared, uh, my, my, my whole heart just broke. All right. So I'm going to teach you guys how to get your ship back. First things first, you want to shut the game down. <laughs> So we're going to go to the home screen. We're going to completely close the game out. Just like that. You're going to jump back into the game. Oh, man. The disappearing ship glitch. One of the main reasons I think the disappearing ship glitch is a thing is because the game doesn't actually load in all the assets after you change the color of the ship. So I would avoid changing the color of your ship until Bethesda drops a brand new patch to fix this because this is crazy and broken. Anyways, we'll go ahead and we'll go down to the Jemison 37. This was 30 minutes before I broke that ship apart and did this video. So, <laughs> okay. So there's a couple of things we have to do in order to get our ship back. First things first, we're gonna load in the game from the main menu, that is the key. You have to load in the game after shutting down your system from the main menu. And we have to go inside the ship and see if the ship is actually physically there. This is one of the main reasons why it's been taking me so long to do builds because ships have just been disappearing. <laughs> They've just been disappearing. All right, so the ship is physically in front of us. There's two things I want to check right quick before we do anything else. I want to go inside the ship first and foremost and make sure it's physically here. And it is. Now we're going to take this ship. You're getting a little sneak, a little sneak peek of the ship. It's all good though. And we're going to take off to make sure that the ship physically takes off of the planet. And it does. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So it does physically take off of the planet. That's that's a very good thing. Now that the ship is physically in the air, we want to go ahead and land the ship down on Jemison. Anywhere is fine. On an area that we don't care for. You want to physically land the ship down, and then we're going to drop a hard save. All right. The ship has physically landed down on the planet. Good. It's very important that you fly out of the atmosphere and go back into the planet to make sure that the ship is physically here because that's the problem. The ship is not physically in the location, which is what the game is doing. It's just not loading it properly. Now that we have our ship, we're going to do two things. We're not even going to get out of the pilot seat. We're going to go over to... Venus in the soul system and we're going to fast forward time 600 hours to completely hard reset the ship I already have an outpost over here near the civilian outpost down on Venus if you don't have an outpost here on Venus then I'll show you exactly what to do in just a second all right we're physically here our ship is physically over there. Excellent. All right. So in order for you to be able to make an outpost on Venus so that you can go to sleep in that outpost, you're going to need planetary habitation. Planetary habitation is a super easy skill to get to once you have enough points in your skill tree in science. It's easy to get this because all you have to do is literally just build an outpost beacon down on any planet and make any hab whatsoever that has a door and or an actual living space. What I mean by that is 
go into your outpost drop down the outpost beacon go over to the actual structures tab and you can lay down an outpost airlock that's going to cost you three aluminum two lead and three sealant and boom this is going to instantly level up this challenge for you so you could get all the way to rank three once you make it to rank three you'll be allowed to have an outpost down here on venus and once you've done that go ahead and set yourself up a bed and sleep for six hours six to seven hours usually does a trick sometimes i just overkill it and sleep for 12 to completely reset the entire game what this does is it forwards it fast forwards time a whole bunch of days in the future which resets chests resets a lot of different areas that you visited and it resets your ship the most important thing that we need we need it to reset the ship and i have paid my parents so that shows you that we skipped a long time in the future we'll go ahead and we'll fast travel over to the ship we should be physically inside of it and we are and we'll go ahead and we'll drop down another save and we'll take off from the planet to make sure it's physically with us yep we're good to go excellent all right no problems so now that we physically have our ship back in one solid piece <laughs> We're going to go back over to Jemison. I'm going to finish off this build and then we'll get back to the showcase. If you like what we do here in the channel, make sure you smash that like button and sub to the channel so that you don't miss out on any more tips, tricks, guides, and ways to fix crazy glitches like this one and Starfield. This is the Angel Shark. It is a two floor ship with no ladders in it. It's one of the coolest builds that I have. It's super simple and I'm really excited to teach you guys how to make it. If you want to learn how to make this ship right here, then stay tuned. I'm sorry that it looks crazy like it does right now. The reason why I do not want to paint this ship is because that is actually one of the main reasons why my game glitched out in the first place. As soon as you start to change specific things about your ship, such as the color schemes and or high highlighting all of the different colors and things on the ship, that is going to be one of the first signs that you will glitch your ship out. Also, building and remaking your ship at Aquila or Neon City are two very scary places to recreate your ship because if the game doesn't necessarily load up all the assets to your ship back the way they're supposed to be, you might just be looking at an invisible ship. So be mindful of those things, try to avoid them at all costs, and always keep yourself a save file that you can revert back to. Hopefully this guide helped you. And if you have any other ways that you've discovered that have fixed your game, let us know down in the comment section below. Also, let me know if this video actually helped you and saved you the trouble of falling into this glitch again. I would really like to know and get more feedback from the community. This is the only way I've figured out so far to hard reset the game without going to the Unity and going into New Game Plus which is a, something that a lot of us don't want to do. A lot of us have so many ships or things and like outposts that we built and we just don't want to get rid of. This was a brand new file that I created so I could actually take it into New Game Plus and discover all the benefits and stuff about New Game Plus. And I didn't want to use my other files to do so. So that's why I created this. So I don't really necessarily care, but I discovered this glitch and I discovered a fix for it. So I had to make sure that you guys knew what was going on. This is your boy Emma Emson Stage D for now. I'm out of here.